Hey, excuse me. Hey, boyfriend. Bro, I ordered someone with Kylie Jenner's body. What the fuck is this? What? Aren't you gonna ask me what's wrong? No. Hey, where do you think you're going? To your room. I'm tired. You're funny. You're sleeping on the couch. Ugh, oh, fine, whatever. Come on in. So how was your night, boyfriend? I couldn't sleep with your arms and legs wrapped around me. Hey, don't forget your sunscreen. Touch me and I swear I'm gonna sue that girlfriend shop. Hey, have you seen my phone in our room? Our room? Hey, have you seen my phone in our room? Our room? Did you find your phone? Yeah, it was on the bed. Where are you going? Can you just stop getting involved in everything? I'm going out with my friends. Okay, have fun. You're back, I'm in cheesecake. I'm allergic to cheese. Oh, sorry, I'll make another cake. Can you just stop? Stop what? Stop trying so hard to make me like you. It will never happen. Hey, I'm sorry for being such a prick to you. You don't deserve it. Thanks. Wanna watch a movie or something? Good morning, boyfriend. Where is he? Congratulations, you're invited to an interview. Excuse me, can I help you? I'm here for the interview. Name? Amara. Girlfriend number? Girlfriend. Any special skills? I'm good at writing stories, I like acting, dancing. Miss, you're not applying for a drama school. Oh. Girlfriend 305? Yeah, that's me. Your interview was successful. Really? Yeah, please come with me. I'm going to introduce you to your new boyfriend. Okay, there he is. Hey, Amara. Please, I hope I can let my hair loose today. Huh? Ponytail? Why do I keep getting ponytail? I just want to let my hair loose for one day. Mom, I'm going to school, okay? What hairstyle did you get today? I got ponytail again. It's okay. The important thing is that you don't break the rules, okay? Okay, I have to go. I'll see you later. Oh, look. The horse tail is coming. Why do you get ponytails every day? Right? I'm bored of seeing her hair like that. I don't know, but the important thing is that I don't break the hair rules. No wonder Jack cheated on you. He cheated on me? His girl is beautiful because her hair is always untied. Jack, why are you cheating on me? What did I do wrong? Because I'm bored of your hair. At least my new girlfriend's pretty and her hair is loose. Okay, your loss. I'm sure tomorrow I'll get loose hair. <laughs> you wish. Please let my hair be loose today. Not again. This is so embarrassing. I told my ex I'm going to have loose hair today. Now he's going to think I'm an idiot. Mom, I'm going to school. Be careful, honey. Why? I know the neighbor got pigtails, but she took them out and her consequence was... Her consequence was what? I don't want to talk about it. Hurry up and get to school. All right. Ponytail again? At this point, I'm not even surprised. I thought you'd have loose hair today. You were so sure about it yesterday when I broke up with you. First of all, you didn't break up with me. I broke up with you. And second of all, I'm not in charge of this thing. I can't break the rules. You're not as beautiful as my new girlfriend. What? You don't suspect Jack's new girlfriend. Why should I suspect her? She always has her hair untied. I only get it once a week. Looks like she's breaking the rules. Breaking the rules? Yes. Let me go through her bag since she's not here. What's this? If her hair is untied, why does she need to carry this many hair ties? She's definitely breaking the rules. Macy, I think Jack's girlfriend's breaking the rules. Why are you so sure? I just checked her bag and she has so many hair ties. If her hair is always loose, why does she need that many? If she's breaking the rules, why hasn't anything happened I to her? I don't know. Please let today be the day I can let my hair loose. Two pigtails? No, I'm not doing this anymore. If my ex's new girlfriend can break the rules, so can I. I'm going to school, bye. Didn't you get two pigtails? Why is your hair on time? I don't care. If others can do it, so can I. Don't. If you break the rules, you can... Don't tell me. I'm going to school. I want to show my new hair off. I'm going to school, bye. Didn't you get two pigtails? Why is your hair on time? I don't care. If others can do it, so can I. Don't. If you break the rules, you... Don't tell me. I'm going to go to school. I want to show my new hair off. Jack, look at your ex. Her hair's on time. Wow, beautiful. Did the system finally let you keep your hair loose or did you cheat? I already told you, I can also get loose hair, not just your new girlfriend. I don't believe you. I don't care if you believe me or not. Did you break the rules? Yes. Amara! I told you, nothing will happen. What if, for example, I don't get caught? Everyone gets caught eventually. I'm worried about you. <sighs> Calm down. 
So, you opened my bag yesterday. And what if I did? Do you have anything to hide? Like maybe all those hair ties in your bag? I'm sure you broke the rules too. No, I actually didn't. We'll find out later. Please, just this once. Can I have my hair untied so I don't have to break the rules anymore? Braids? I don't even know how to braid my hair. I guess I'm going to have to break the rules again. As long as no one knows, it's okay, right? You broke the rules again? Yeah. Go, Shamara. Why? There's a hair-breaking detection system here today. They're going to be checking if anyone's Wait, breaking the rules. Wait, they're coming to this school? Yes. Hair check will start soon. Hair check will start soon? What am I going to do? Did you bring any hair ties with you? No, and also today I got braids, and I don't even know how to braid my hair. I can help you. You can just use one of my hair ties. Come. No, everyone's going to think I was lying, and I'm going to look bad. I don't want to. I guess I have to say goodbye to you, because soon everyone's going to know the truth. You think they won't find out about you too? You also broke the rules. Don't worry, no one will find out. You'll see later. Why does Jack's new girlfriend never get caught? She breaks the rules every single day. I don't know, maybe she knows a way around it. Amara, please come forward. There will be a hair check. I have to go. Be careful, okay? Is it true that you got your hair untied today? You didn't violate the rules, right? Yes, sir. And no, I didn't violate the rules. Let me have a look. I hope he doesn't find out. Okay, done. Wait, there's still a second check. Assistant, please bring me the comb. Yes, the hair rules are changing. Please give me loose hair so they won't find out I broke the rules. Yes, the hair rules are changing. Please give me loose hair so they won't find out I broke the rules again. Huh? Bold? So, turns out you did break the rules. Take her now. Where are you taking me? Just follow them. Where am I? People who violate the rules are brought here. What? You're my neighbor, the one who broke the rules, right? Yep. Now that you're here, your hair will be controlled by your soulmate and not the system anymore. Controlled by a soulmate? Yes. Oh, look who it is. My ex's new girlfriend. I thought you said you didn't break the rules. Turns out you did. Whatever, you broke the rules too. Well, at least now I know the truth about you. I've given up. It's up to my soulmate to choose my hairstyle this time. What? Why isn't it appearing? Maybe your soulmate's sleeping. <sighs> okay. I wonder what will happen if we don't listen to our soulmates and just do the hairstyles we want. What happens is you won't be able to get married in the future. Wait, really? Yes. So, if I do all the hairstyles he tells me to, I can get out of this place, right? Yeah, but you'll have to follow the rules for a while. Then why isn't he giving me any hairstyles? I already told you, maybe he's sleeping. No, there must be something wrong. He can't sleep at this time. There'll be a new hairstyle tomorrow. If you don't get one by then, you can start getting worried. But for now, just relax. Come on, please choose a hairstyle for me. Still nothing? There's definitely something wrong. I have to find out. Hey, do you know the creator of this hair system? The creator of this hair system is in that room, but no one's ever seen his face. He always wears a mask. What's wrong with you knocking on my room like that? Take off the mask! And who the hell are you? Where is my soulmate? Why isn't he choosing any hairstyles for me? Your soulmate doesn't want to set any hairstyle for you. So you're free to choose whatever hairstyle you want. Take off your mask! Alright, if that's what you want, okay. You know me, right? Dave? My childhood friend, right? Actually, I made this hair system so I can meet you again. I knew you wouldn't follow the hair rules because you've always liked to do your hair however you wanted. It just made it easier to what? find you. Tell me where my soulmate is. Your soulmate's right here in front of you. Surprised, huh? I can see my dad's salary. I don't even expect it to be a lot. He doesn't even leave the house to work. <gasps> So all this time my dad's rich? Dad! What do you want? You get one million per month? Why didn't you tell anyone? I didn't tell you because I don't want you to be spoiled. Who says anything about being spoiled? Every day at school I'm hungry for a snack but I never have any money to buy it. Okay, starting from today I'll give you a thousand pounds a day. Okay, I have to keep your salary on private. Why are you keeping it private? Because I don't want my friends at school to like me just for money. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to school now. Bye. Hi, Amara. Hey. Why is your dad's salary private? Because I want to keep it private. Is there a problem with that? You put it on private because your dad's salary is poor, right? We can't be friends in that case. Bye. What? All right, it's your loss anyway. Okay, Klaus, we're going to be going on a trip to the zoo. Everyone follow me except Amara. Why, sir? Because you're poor. You won't be able to afford the visit. But, sir, I can pay for it. How are you going to pay? You're poor. You know what? What? They said the one whose father's salary is the highest will be the president of the student union. Who said that? 
I heard the teacher speaking about it earlier. I think Jessica's gonna win because her father's salary is the highest. Attention everyone, I will now announce the new president of the student union. Wait, you're announcing it now? Yes, the new president is Jessica. Her father's salary is 150,000. 150,000 a month? Are you making fun of that salary? Get out of my way! Who dared to slap you like that? Some girl in class. Okay, from tomorrow you're putting my salary on public. I don't accept anyone slapping you. Look who's at school. I thought she'd be scared to come back. Yes, Jessica, she should be afraid of you. Me? Afraid of her? <laughs> Never. But if you really want to know, this is the last time I'm here. But before I leave, I want to show you something. But before I leave, I want to show you something. What? What is your dad's salary? Exactly, you don't have to pretend like his salary is high. I'm not pretending. Just so you know, my dad's salary is 10 times higher than yours. Prove it then. That's right. You can't. You'll see later. Why is this happening? I'm so sick and tired of Jessica's arrogant behavior. My dad's salary is 1 million a month and her dad's only 150,000. What? Why don't you show it to everyone? Because it's not letting me put it on public. I wanted to show everyone that my dad's salary is higher than Jessica's. How much is your dad's salary anyway? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Come on, just tell me. Okay, believe it or not, my dad's salary is 1 million per month. Almost 10 times higher than Jessica's dad, which is only 150,000 per month. Dad! Honey, why haven't you put my salary on public yet? That's the problem. I've tried, but it's not letting me. What do you mean? Does the system have an error or something? I don't know, but people are still bullying me. Okay, calm down. I'm gonna find a solution so you can put my salary on public. I really hope you can, Dad. Hey, I got bad news. What is it? Ever since Jessica became the president of the student council, she set a rule that everyone whose dad's salary is below 5,000 has to leave what? the school. What? That's not fair. When do they have to leave by? Tomorrow. This can't happen. Do you know where Jessica is? She's at the cafeteria. Come on. Just so you know, you can't make rules for the school that only benefits you. And who's going to forbid me? Not you, because tomorrow you'll be leaving the school. Didn't you say you were leaving today anyway? No, I'm not leaving anymore because my dad's salary is 10 times more than yours. If that's true, how comes you haven't proven it yet? Be careful because no one will leave the school except you. I have to become president of the student council today so I can remove these stupid rules set by Jessica. Excuse me, can you help me please? Help you with what? I lost all my money and I can't go home. Can you lend me some? Of course. Finally, I found a good person. Thank you very much. Since you were good to me, I'll put your dad's salary on public. Huh? How did you do that? Because I'm the one who controls the system. What? How did you do that? Because I'm the one who controls the system. What? So, all this time it was you? Yes, but sometimes the system lags. Hopefully there will be no error again. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you as well. Finally, I can put my dad's salary on public. That means I can become president today. Hey, Amara! Where's Jessica? I hope she changed the stupid rule she made up. No, she hasn't. Everyone's gathered in the hall. She's making sure everyone whose dad's salary is under 5,000 gets kicked out. We need to go there, now. In accordance with the new rules I've made, starting from today, anyone whose father's salary is under 5,000 needs to leave the school immediately. I don't agree. Amara, you again. You can't stop me. I'm the president of the student council. Sir, I want you to replace me with Jessica as the new president of the student council. And why should I do that? Because my dad's salary is higher than hers. Do you have any proof? Yes, in fact, I'll show you now. What? How is this possible? Well, it's clear Amara's dad's salary is higher than Jessica's. So she will be the new president starting today. What? Sir, you can't do that. And according to what I said yesterday, I'm kicking you out of the school. Since you're the new president, do you want to make any new rules? Yes, I want to change the money rule. Anyone should be able to study at the school, no matter how much money they have. Congrats on being the new president. Thank you. I'm going to the canteen. I'll tell them you'll pay for my food later, since you have so much money. Bye! Hey, wait! Unlimited breaths or unlimited money? Unlimited breaths is much more important. 
Morning, Mom. Morning, honey. What was your choices? I chose unlimited breaths because it's much more important. What? I can't believe you did this. You know we needed the money. <sighs> You're so useless. Get out of here. But, Mom. Looks like everyone chose unlimited money. I mean, look at all the stuff they bought. Wait, you didn't choose the money? I don't even know why they put the unlimited breaths as an option. Only idiots would choose it. I guess I'm an idiot then. You chose unlimited breaths? Sorry, but we can't be friends. Okay, class. Today we're going on a trip to an island. You'll sit next to me, right? Yeah, of course. Are you okay? You haven't joined any group yet. Yeah, I'm fine. Class, it looks like we've lost our boat and our breaths are running out. Sir, it's fine. She has unlimited breaths. Sir, it's fine. She has unlimited breaths. <sighs> I'm still alive. How is this possible? Klaus, is everyone okay? Yeah. How did we survive? We were lucky I picked unlimited breaths. That's a lie. I'm the one that has unlimited breaths and saved us all. Sir, that's not true. She's lying. <sighs> well, if that's the case, let's do a competition. I accept. Whoever wins can prove that they can breathe underwater. And you can only do that if you've picked unlimited breaths. You both ready? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do it then. Three, two, one. Are you both ready? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do it then. Three, two, one. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. See? I told you I was the one with unlimited breaths. Jessica, why would you lie about your breaths? I didn't lie. Well, you clearly did. You lost the competition. Whatever, girls, let's go. You saved our lives. How can we pay you back? No, it's fine, really. I'm glad I could help. Amara, you're the best. I'm sorry we're all mean to you. We really appreciate you helping us. As a thank you, we want you to have this. What is this? We all decided to give you some money. I hope it helps the situation at home. A million pounds? No, I can't take this. Take it. You deserve it. Mom. Hey, honey. I'm really sorry for the way I spoke to you earlier. It's fine. Here, take this. You don't have to sell the house anymore. Let's just break up. But why, babe? Because I'm a guy. I started this relationship, so I can end it too. You can't really dump me because you're just a girl. Amara, you chose to be a girl, right? No, I chose to be a boy. What? Why would you do that? The guy's the one who starts and ends relationships, right? Not all guys are like that. Didn't I tell you that David isn't good for you? Whatever, you'll never understand. Basically, I had to be a guy who's taller than my ex because he's pretty short. So, I chose to be tall. Look at Amara. She was dumped by the most handsome guy in school. David, right? He's so handsome. Are you sure he's the most handsome guy here? Yes, look around. Is there any other guy prettier than him? There will be. Be a CEO or be a mafia leader. Must be fun being in a mafia. Guys, let's have lunch together. You're David's ex. We were only friends with you because you were dating the popular guy. I'm going to be his girlfriend soon. What? <sighs> Let the game begin. Let the game begin. Whoa. This is so cool. I look like a boy. I'm going to pretend to be the new kid at school. Introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm new at the school. What's your name? Um, my name is Sam. Whoa, so handsome. Nice to meet you. Whoa, look at the new kid. He's so hot. Yes, even though the most handsome guy in school is David, I like Sam more. Hey, do you know David who used to be the most handsome guy here? If you steal his girl, you can be more popular than him. Interesting. Okay. Are you the new kid? Yeah. You said your name is Sam, right? Mm-hmm. Later, do you want to go out and grab a drink? Okay, but um, I don't want my boyfriend David to know. Okay, I'll just go ask another girl. No, wait. Um, I want to go on a date with you. Okay, I'll pick you up at 8. Oh, so this is the guy who dared to ask my girl out on a date. Don't think you're more handsome than me. You're brave trying to steal my girl. Fight me in the ring tomorrow. The one who wins gets the girl. I'm in. Fight me in the ring tomorrow. Whoever wins gets the girl. I'm in. I have to think about how to beat David. I've never competed in the ring before. Hey, if anyone's interested, I just opened the gym. I train people to be stronger. Excuse me, sir. I want to register on your gym. Your muscles are already big. Why do you want to register? Yes, my muscles are big, but... But what? I'm going to be fighting in the ring tomorrow. The ring? Come, let me teach you. So, what do you want me to do? There is a way to win the fight. First task I'm going to give you today is do 100 push-ups. 100 push-ups? Yes, hurry up. My arms hurt. Second task, separate this wood into two. You want me to separate it into two? Correct, hurry up. Ouch. Are you okay? 
Yeah, it's done. Good job. Okay, the next task is... I'm so tired. Sam, the race in the ring is about to start. David's waiting. Um, okay. Okay, the match will start in three, two, one. Okay, the match will start in three, two, one. Why aren't you feeling any pain? Because you're weak. I don't feel anything. Come on, fight me. Why are you just standing there? You're going to wish you didn't say that. Even though I was slow, I still feel like I won. Ouch. Well, at least this match is finally done. I'm going home. I will announce the winner later when everyone's gathered. Okay, sir. Wait, but then... When your girlfriend finds out who the winner is, she'll be mine. What? But... According to the agreement. But what if you don't win? She'll be mine. We'll see. Sam, do you know David's ex, Amara? Amara? Who's that? David's ex. Since you entered school, I haven't seen her. People are starting to be suspicious. Um, I don't know. Oh, I see. Hi, Sam. Hey, um, David said earlier, if he loses, you'll be mine. He said that? Everyone, the match results are here. The winner is... Hi, Sam. Hey, uh, David said earlier, if he loses, you'll be mine. He said that? Everyone, the match results are here. The winner is... Sam! <laughs> what? There's no way he won. Let's rematch. Just accept the fact that you lost. No, I didn't lose. I was just tired. Yeah, right. I don't care. You might have won, but you're not taking my girlfriend. But that was the deal, wasn't it? Hey, David, whether you won or not, I don't want to be with you anymore. You're a fool and you're so selfish. Furthermore, I don't need a man in my life to be happy. But wait, I love you. Aw, you just got dumped. Maybe you should start learning how to treat girls better. There's something weird about you. Ever since you got here, you've been wanting me to break up with my girlfriend. No, it's not like that at all. Who really are you? You'll soon find out. Amara, it was you this whole time? I should have known. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. David lost the fight against the girl. Why are you doing this to me? Now everyone's bullying me. I didn't do anything. You were the one who suggested the fight in the ring, so you did this to yourself. Anyways, I need to go. Bye. Mommy, I promise one day I'm going to be famous. Honey, one day you're going to regret making that promise. Hey, can I please borrow your hair tie? I promise I'll give it back. Okay, but please do. You have a lot of money. I will, trust me. Here's your hair tie back. Oh, I'm surprised you gave it back, especially with all those marks. Those were a long time ago. I've changed. I don't make promises that I can't fulfill anymore. The best uni is here to interview students, apparently. Which one? Oxford. That's my top uni. I'm going to go ask for an interview. Whoa, not so fast. Did you forget how many marks you have? So? Wait, you don't know? No what? You can't have any marks on your face if you want to get into Oxford. They're very strict. Mom, do you remember if I made any promises when I was younger? Because I can't think of any. Yeah, you did. You promised to be famous. Famous? How am I supposed to be famous in one week? I'm not going to get into my dream uni, am I? Wait, I know a way. Famous? How am I supposed to be famous in only one week? I'm not going to be able to get into my dream uni, am I? Wait, I know a way. TikTok? Seriously? Just trust me, it's the only way. No, TikTok is for kids, and besides, I wouldn't want to be an influencer. They all think they're famous when they're not. Technically, they are. Yeah, right. Did you find out why you lost promise? Yes, yeah, stupid. Why is it? I promised one day I'd be famous, and my mom came up with this dumb idea of posting videos on TikTok. Why don't you do it? Because it's lame and stupid. Well, it's your only chance to get into uni, so if you really want an interview, you're gonna have to give it a try. Fine. Hey guys, no, I can't do this, it's cringe. So did you make the video? I tried to, but I can't post it, it's too cringe. Hey, let me show you something. Wait, what are you doing? Don't post it! See? Easy. Thank me later. Hey, let me show you something. Wait, what are you doing? No, don't post it! See? Easy. Thank me later. Okay, so what now? You wait. How long? I don't know, until it goes viral, I guess. Anyway, I need to get to class. What are you having for lunch? I don't know, I'm not really hungry. I had the seven pizza, let's go see. Why is everyone staring at me? Did you see her video it has 12 million views? Amara, your mark's gone. I have 300,000 followers, but how? See, I told you you'd go viral. I'm gonna go get that interview. Okay, good luck, bestie. Hi, I'm here for an interview. Let me check your marks. No marks? Wow, that's amazing. I've never had anyone apply with no marks. 
What do you mean? I thought you had a strict no mark policy. Who told you that? We accept students with up to 10 marks. I hope I get a good magic power. Move things? That's not even a power. It's normal to move things. I don't want it. Good morning, mom. Good morning, honey. Make sure you're ready for magic school. Yes, mom. Did you choose your magic power? Not yet. What? Why? How are you going to magic school with no magic powers? That's so dumb. Relax. I'm just waiting to get a good magic power. I don't want to get a lame one like the rest of my friends. Ouch! Look what my powers can do. Okay, okay, stop. You're hurting me. I can hurt you without even touching you. That's a lame magic power. What's your magic power? I don't have any magic power. Then who are you to make fun of me if you don't have one yourself? I'm going to tell everyone that you don't have a magic power. No, don't! Hey, you don't have a magic power, right? No, I don't have one yet. I hope I get a good magic power this time. It has to be better than my friends so they don't bully me again. Fly? Just fly? No, that's boring. I'll decline. Honey, you refused your magic power again? Because they gave me flying as an option. It's so boring. You can't keep rejecting. Just accept one already. No, I'm waiting for a good one to appear. Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. You do know if you keep rejecting, you might not even get one at all. I'm just waiting for the perfect one to appear. You're useless. Let's go, guys. I'll give you time until tomorrow. If you don't have a magic power, you're leaving the school. But, sir, my magic powers are still loading. I don't know when they'll give me a next one. I don't care. You have 24 hours. Yes, it's loading. Okay, this time I'm going to have to accept it. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of the school. Please give me a good magic power. Please give me a good magic power. Mind control? Why do I always get bad ones? I want to refuse it, but I can't. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of the school. Accept it now. But, Mom, I said do it. All right, fine. Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. She shouldn't be allowed back in the school. Who says I don't have any magic powers? I have a magic power. Really? And what's your magic power? I can't tell them. They'll bully me. I don't want to say. It's a secret. Sir, am I allowed to stay in the school? Do you have a magic power? Yes, I do. I picked one today. All right, then you can stay. Thanks, sir. I'm so scared. Imagine someone finds out about my magic power. I can't let anyone know that I got mind control. Everyone, we'll be practicing our magic powers today. Practicing our magic powers? Yes, everyone should know how to use them. Amara, you just pretend to have magic powers so you can stay in the school, right? No, that's not true. I have magic powers. If you have magic powers, why don't you want to tell me what it is? Fine, it's mind control. Mind control? That's the most greatest magic power. The greatest magic power? If you really have that power, then I want to challenge, challenge you. Challenge me? Yep, to see if you're telling the truth. Okay, fine. I'll accept the challenge. Good. Look, guys, I'm going to use my powers on Amara. Wait, why isn't it working on her? Wait, Amara, do you really not feel anything? Feel what? Why are you all looking at me like that? I know about your magic power. You can control minds. What? How do you know? Because you have the strongest magic power. I can feel strongest, it. Strongest? But I don't know how to use it. It's easy. Just use your feelings. Feelings? Yes. Amara, did you accept the magic match against Jennifer? Yes. Then the competition will start now. Now? Yes. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to use my magic yet. Why so quiet? Are you scared to fight me? Okay, the magic match will start in 3, 2, 1. The magic match will start in 3, 2, 1. Why isn't my magic working on her? Amara, use your magic now. Yeah, you said you had magic powers. Why aren't you using them? Because I don't know how to use it. If you really don't know, then why did you accept Jennifer's challenge? You know what? It's decided. You've lost this magic match. Lost? According to our agreement, if you lose, you're out of the school. No, I don't want to leave magic school. You accepted my challenge, so you must accept the consequences. What? Hey, old lady, I lost against Jennifer. I told you, you have to use your feelings. Are you afraid? Yeah, I'm scared. That's what keeps your magic from appearing. You shouldn't be afraid. So, my feelings make my magic appear? Yes, you already like someone, right? I like my best friend. His name is Jake. Then approach him now. Huh? Right now? 
Yes, go and tell him how you feel. It's so cold in here, isn't it? Jake? What's up? I like you. Why does my body suddenly feel warm? And I feel like I like you too out of a sudden. Wow. What just happened was love magic. Love magic? Yes, every feeling has a magic power which is different. And the greatest magic of all is anger. anger? Yes, that's right. Amara, sign this letter. Why do I have to sign this letter? Because you'll be leaving the school, so you need to sign it. But I don't want to leave the school. I've learned how to use my magic. Why is it suddenly raining outside? So this is your magic power. Yes, sir. The magic you just used right now is the sad feeling. Sad feeling? Every time you feel something, your magic starts working. That's such a cool magic power. You still haven't used the feeling of anger. You need to use it, but it will only work if you're really angry. Oh, I don't get angry easily. You have to, because it's the strongest magic. Okay. Why are you still in the school? I thought you got kicked out. You don't have a magic power, so you don't deserve to be here. I told you so many times, I have a magic power. If the teacher don't kick you out of the school, I'll make you leave. Knowing people's age or knowing people's address? I choose knowing people's age because often people lie about how old they are. Morning, mom. Morning, honey. Huh? 26 years old? Why did you lie and say you were 50? Because I'm embarrassed. I gave birth to you when I was only 12. 12? Does that mean you were still in school? Yes, but I got kicked out. Since you're still young, why don't you get any more kids? I really want a sister. Giving birth isn't that easy. What if we adopt someone? Adopt? Okay, I don't care as long as I get a sibling. Hey, bestie. Hey, Amara. 17 years old? How come you're 17 years old? We're still in first year of high school. Because I didn't go to school for two years, but please don't tell anyone. Calm down, I won't. Amara, this is your report card. Thanks, sir. Why am I grades so low? Because you're not smart. Raise my grades, otherwise I'll tell the principal that you're 70 years old and he'll kick you out because you're not allowed to work when you're 70. You should be retired. Okay, I'll raise your grades, but please don't tell the principal. That's more like it. You want to be my girlfriend? We're the same age. You think you can lie to me? You're a few years older than me and I don't want to waste my time with someone like you. Bye. Hey, mom. Your new sister's here. Why don't you go get to know her? You already adopted someone? Yes, she's in the living room. I can't wait to meet her. Hey, what's your name? My name's Olivia. Olivia? Yes, sis. Sis, why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. Why can't I see Olivia's age? I need to find out how old she is. Olivia, your room's right there. Let me help you with your bag. I wonder what she has in here. Huh? Since when did Olivia have dentures? I let you hold my bag, not go through it. This is yours? No, I got them from my orphanage. Here, give me my bag. Mom, we have to kick my new sister out. What's wrong? There's something wrong with her. I can't see how old she is. Maybe there's an error in the system. But just now, I found dentures in her bag. She already said it belonged to her mother in the orphanage. There's someone new in your house. How did you know that? I know you're trying to find out how old she is. Wear these glasses, they'll help you. These glasses? Where's the old lady? How come she's gone? Olivia? Since when did you wear makeup? You're still young, you can't wear makeup. I'm trying to cover my moles. Moles? Yes. Anyway, look. I got new glasses. Glasses? Wait, aren't those? Yes, soon I'll know Olivia's age. Anyway, look, I got new glasses. Glasses? Aren't those? Yes, soon I'll know Olivia's age. Can I please borrow those glasses? Give them to me. How old are you actually, Olivia? I already told you, I'm eight. No, you can't lie to me. You're 250 years old. But how come you're still in this world? What the heck? I'm still eight. Mom! Mom, you have to get Olivia out of here. She's not a person. What's wrong? You've always been begging for a sister. She's 250 years old. You're jealous of her, aren't you? No, I'm not. Please, you have to believe me. You know what? Get out of this house. Only come back when you fix that attitude of yours. Fine, I'll leave. Luckily, I've got the address of Olivia's orphanage. Why are you here? I'm looking for this address. That's the address of a nursing home. Nursing home? Yes, as far as I know, there's no orphanage around there. I'm still gonna check it out. Okay, when you get there, follow the signs. 
Why is there only old people around here? Why are you here, young lady? Is there an orphanage around this area? No, only nursing homes. Wanna come yeah, in? Yeah, sure. Excuse me, miss. You can't enter this home. It's only for the elderly. I just wanted to ask. Do you know a girl named Olivia? She's from an orphanage in this area. No, I've never met a girl named Olivia. But the address is correct. Anyway, I'm gonna go in and check. Okay, but I warn you, it's very dangerous. Yeah, whatever. I knew it. There is an orphanage. Look at all the kids. Are you here to adopt us? How are you so old but look so young? Everyone in this orphanage are like this. Okay, this is creepy. I need to get out of here. Emily, hurry up and get me. I sent you the address. Okay, I'll call you back. I'm just gonna check it. Amara, the address you sent me isn't appearing on the map. Also, it doesn't exist. Hey, all of you, why isn't this address being detected? People who enter the forest can't leave unless they've adopted someone first. What? Okay, does anyone know Olivia, the owner of these dentures? That's Benjamin's. Benjamin? Yes. So, does that mean he's a guy? Yes, he's a boy, but he looks like a girl. Anyway, where did you get the dentures from? He's at my house right now with my mom. Then your mom is in danger right now because he is... He's at my house right now with my mom. Then your mom is in danger right now because he is... He's a psychopath. Psychopath? Yes. How do I get out of here so I can save my mom? You won't be able to get out unless you adopt someone or someone adopts you. Emily, can you contact the nursing home here so you can adopt me? Adopt you? Where the hell are you now? I'll send you the number now. Please call them quick. Where's the owner of this nursing home? The owner's right in front of you. A thousand years? What do you need? You own this nursing home? Don't be surprised by my small body. The older I get, the smaller I get. I want to ask. My friend contacted you to adopt me. Yes, but I refuse. Huh? Why? Because she needs to be an adult in order to adopt you. Then how do I get out of here? Someone's adopted you. Why are you lying? The owner just said my friend couldn't adopt me. It's not your friend. Not my friend? Then who is it? The security guard? Thank you so much for saving me. Can you take me to the police station? Sorry, I can't. I only adopted you to help you out. I have to look after this nursing home. Okay, thank you, sir. Officer. How can I help you? There's a 250-year-old man living at my house and he pretends to be a kid. That's crazy. I don't believe you. I can see people's ages. If that's true, what's my age? You're 50 years old. That was just a coincidence. How old am I? You're 45. Okay, take us to your mom's house. Your mom's not in here. She left a note saying she went to the nursing home to look for you. That means she's stuck there. Officer, can you help me adopt my mom so she can get out of there? Hello. Huh? You were the security guard from yesterday. How did you turn into a child? Come on, we need to hurry up. Why is there no sound coming from inside? We have to break in. Three, two... One.